This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Once we've created sites and subnets, then we are already controlling login traffic because the, the domain controllers will register records in DNS based on their specific site. However, to control replication, there are some additional things that need to be done. So in this section, we're going to look at configuring replication. And we'll start just by understanding what Active Directory replication is and how it functions. And then we'll look at using sites and site links to control that replication that occurs between sites or inter-site replication. We also have a variety of tools to manage and monitor replication because uh, when replication problems occur, it can cause all kinds of problems such as login issues, uh, issues with site aware, uh, Active Directory integrated applications like Exchange or DFS, uh, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. And so it's something that we definitely need to take a look at, and if not proactively monitor, at least know how to troubleshoot when situations arise. Uh, so let's begin though by giving a good overview and an understanding at, as to how Active Directory replication works. 